Hey, what's cracking everybody? Today I'm going to be taking a look at a system called Storm OS. Storm OS is an Arch uh, based system. Um, I believe this is the first time I'm taking a look at it, so I'm as much in the dark as you are. That's how I am. But it says right here, this distro's goal is to help bring new users over to the world of Arch Linux by offering an easy to install, out of the box Arch Linux experience. So I got it up in a virtual machine, so let's see how easy it is to install. I'm pretty sure it uses the Calamari's installer, so uh, let's go take a look. All right, we have the ISO booted up here in a virtual machine, so let's go ahead and install Storm OS. So from what I see here on the on the desktop, there's a install Storm OS. Uh, let's see what this opens up. This is untrusted application launcher. We're going to launch anyway. And it does open up the uh, Calamari's installer. So right now, American English is selected. That's true. Uh, firmware driver packages. I guess this is what it's going to install, I'm assuming. Or if you want to install it, you can, uh, looks like check marks. But I'm just going to do a default, just install it. And right here is more software. Well, let me go back to drivers. Maybe there's something here that, uh, that might be important. But now everything is pretty much, uh, straightforward. Let's look under software. We're going to install Lutris, Steam, OBS Studio. You know, quite a various amount of things here. You got uh, browsers. So just, uh, let's see. Let's install Brave Bin. And I think only a browser is, uh, and LibreOffice. All right, we'll just leave those two. Then our time zone, America, Los Angeles is correct. So I'll click next. English default is correct. Click next. Uh, I'll select the uh, erase disk and then I'll swap the file. Uh, no option for the file uh, file manager service, but I'm assuming it's going to be ext4. But then again, who knows? Click next. Give it some uh, personal info. User is going to be test. Password is going to be one two, or it's not going to be one two. Uh, I'm going to do, oh no, I'm not going to do that one, but I am going to log in automatically and use the same password for the administrator. All right. Looks like everything's uh, overviewed and correct. Click on install and install now. All right. So while this installs, I'll go ahead and pause the video. And as usual, when we come back, we'll be on the StormOS desktop. And this is Storm OS Familia. Family. <laughs> you know what that reminds us of? Fast and the Furious. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video now. Okay. The system has now been installed and we have rebooted the system. So we are here on the desktop for Storm OS Familia. Uh, this is an Arch based system. So uh, let's see uh, what desktop we're using. It looks like it's the uh, XFCE, but let me uh, confirm that. Yeah, it is. It's the XFCE desktop environment. All right. So basically, we have a panel on the bottom. Uh, the panel on the bottom has the system tray on the right with the clock, you know, volume, date and calendar. Pretty much everything's over here in the system tray. And uh, as far as pinned applications, you have two that are sort of in the middle. We have uh, the terminal emulator, and then we have Thunar, our file manager. And they're kind of like in the middle. Then you got all this empty space, and then we have our application launcher. And we also have some, uh, some desktop icons. We have OnlyOffice, StormOS, StormOS Browser. Hmm. Storm OS System Tool, Rust Desk, NVIDIA Installer, 
and message for seeker mp4 okay but uh, let's take a look at our application launcher that way we can see what we all have on here so basically the first option is our favorites then we have recently used which is empty right now because i just barely uh, installed the system then we have all applications basically everything installed on your system is going to be found right here then the next category is going to be accessories development education graphics internet multimedia office other science settings and system on the xfce desktop everything you see under settings is also going to be right here by this uh, settings icon so pretty much everything that's in here with a few extras this is probably going to have a few extras but basically you can find most of it right here in your settings And basically, like all systems have, you know, if you want to change your appearance, your panel, your window managers, your Thunar preferences, display, color profiles, mouse touchpad, removal disks, get your about, accessibility, ads, add remove software, pretty much everything to control your system is right here in your settings. So if we go to about XFCE, it's going to give us the version, which is 4.20. And then it'll give you your relevant uh, information for your PC. And that's going to differ from, uh, you know, computer to computer. So something to note. And then uh, I want to check out this add and remove software. I think it's going to open up. Uh, there it is. Let me go back. I just click that by accident. And this is your software installer. This is usually what you'll find on Manjaro. And basically, I want to see if it has options for uh, for the AUR. So go to preferences, go to third party, and you enable AUR support. And that pretty much sets it up. But I'm surprised that clicking on this didn't ask for it didn't ask for a password because typically it would ask for a password that you would have to enter, but it didn't in this case. So I'm not sure what that's about, but hey, it is what it is. And there are some updates that are available, but uh, we're not going to go through that right now. Just wanted to see how this works and uh, show that you can uh, set up the AUR. And that's right out of the box, so that's pretty cool. All right, so on here, I see some uh, some icons right here. Like I see only office. So let's uh, open this up and see what it does. So this opens up only office and I see that LibreOffice is already, uh, is already installed. So yeah, it must be a different office that I'm thinking about. But I know there are some, uh, there are some, uh, a couple, uh, I don't know, I don't know which office it is, but there's an office that won't let you install if you already have a Libre office installed. All right, now StormOS browser. Let's see what this is about. And it says right here, Icarus browser. I'm not sure if this is a, if this is a, what you call it, a uh, Google Chrome base, or it looks like it's Google Chrome base, but I mean, I could be very wrong about this. Uh, let's see, what would I find? It's going to help and about. Storm Browser version 17, Icarus edition. A privacy browser, web browser with built-in VPN, ad blocking, and password management. I'm going to guess and say that this is based off of the Google Chrome or Chromium. But then again, it's a it says Icarus browser, so maybe that's something new that I haven't uh, seen yet. 
All right, so that's a uh, Icarus browser or StormOS browser, whichever you want. Now let's check out the StormOS system tool. Let's see what this does: maintenance, games and utilities, printers, Arch University, and about. Uh, what is this a uh, installer? You got refresh memory, system updates, AUR updates. All right, so it's just a settings manager, like it says, or a utility manager. And then we have Rust Desk. Never seen Rust Desk, never heard of it. Uh, control Remote Desktop, Enter Remote ID. I'm not going to mess with this, but it must be some type of a remote help thing. Then you got NVIDIA installer. There's no need for me to click on this. I'm on a virtual machine, so. And then message from Seeker MP4. Let's open that up and see what it. Hi, everybody. I just, uh, this is Seeker. I just thought I'd welcome you all to the new Storm OS. Um, hoping you enjoy it. Uh, we, within the last few days, we actually made some modifications. I made modifications to my browser clean this up and help Ben, you know, reorganize some of the, uh, some of the code. So with that said, please enjoy Storm OS and I hope you have a safe and happy rest of the uh, day. Take care guys. All right. And that was your message from Seeker. Just wanted to play that for you guys so you guys can hear it. All right. Well, this is an arch based system. So, Let's open up a terminal and it automatically opens up either fast fetch or neo fetch, whichever one you want it to be. Uh, it says right here it is Storm OS, the kernel it's using, 6.16. And of course, everything else is basically going to be different on every system. So the way your system is set up is the information that it'll spit out right here. So that'll be new, unique to you. All right, let's see if we have HTOP. HTOP not found. Can we do sudo pacman dash capital S HTOP? Let's go ahead and install it. Should only take a second, and that's all it took. Now we do HTOP again, and there we go. See right here, it's only using six hundred and six and a half, uh, six hundred and sixty uh, megabytes. So that's very low. The memory is real good on this. Uh, the load averages are very good. All right, so that that looks real good, and it feels real good. Everything feels solid. You know, when you open up something in a virtual machine, sometimes you can uh, feel the lagginess of it. On, on these last systems that I've looked at lately, I don't feel nothing at all. Everything just feels smooth and snappy. And it's the same for this one right here. It feels smooth and snappy. All right, we're going to go ahead and close this window, which is the uh, XFCE terminal. Uh, let's open up our file manager, which is going to be Thunar. And right here, we have uh, a few things right here. You have your standard... Uh, your standard uh, folder option layout. You know, you got your documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, templates, videos. But there's a few uh, extra icons in here. You got Storm OS, PNG, and then you got Zone. So let me open up Zone. It's going to open up in Chromium. Or what is it trying to do? Don't sign in. Oh, it kind of like opened up. I must have selected them both. So let me cancel. All right. Now let's open that. Uh, let's see. Zone. What is it? I don't know. So if I had to guess, I want to look for mouse pad. Open it up with a text editor. See what that does. Nope. That's not going to work. So what is zone? Don't know what zone is. Maybe it's just a artifact, something left over from the system itself. So maybe this is something they need to remove. 
or maybe it needs to go somewhere else. Anyways, if you uh, control H, obviously you can see all of your hidden files. Control H makes them disappear again. And this is a Thunar. Yep, Thunar. All right, so it's a pretty straightforward system. Uh, everything works good. It's an Archway system. Already has a uh, AUR uh, installers out of the box. It looks good. It works good. Everything's good on it. So uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend this. Just remember, always uh, use it in a virtual machine before you go bare metal with it. That way you can work out the bugs before you put it on your system. All right, you guys. Well, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. If you like the video you just saw, please hit that like button. If you didn't like the video you just saw, go ahead and hit that dislike button. All right, you guys. That's going to do it for me. And I'm um,